Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonathan, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonathan, you the man on the stick. I'm so ready to go, dude. Madden 21. Yeah, dude. Boys. Mm-hmm. Girls. Have you ever accidentally cut yourself where you had to get stitches? Wait, no. No, you ever accidentally no. cut yourself where it like bled a lot and you just had to like get it to stop bleeding then it was okay? Uh yeah, we talked about that on one of the what was it, the Assassin's Creed of uh, Hollow videos where you had a handful of blood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> no, then, we're not talking like 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 you're like doing something like cooking and you no. accidentally like oh ish, my you know, I'd nip my finger and it's bleeding everywhere or whatever. No, Jonas, I'm I'm scared to die. You're like extra cautious when you use like, it? I've seen the way that people like you ever seen like a chef professionally cut like food and oh they and do like, da, 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 and you're like yeah that makes me so freaking nervous oh uh, dude man. i like i'm not afraid of knives and i will never cut that fast no that makes me nervous i can't i, can, I don't like, even want to learn i can take the extra few seconds yeah. to be cautious because like those guys they'll be like oh you just got to teach yourself and then they'll be like yeah cut off a piece of my knuckle i'm like yeah i bet yeah right well that's yeah. how you learn no it's nip, not nip my knuckle and you're like yeah dude you sure did <laughs> yeah, guess please. what i didn't do i got all my knuckle skin yeah i learned how not to lose knuckle skin by not learning that that technique yeah <laughs> yeah i uh yeah no i've, I've had a, a, a couple a couple couple cuts that i was like oh man this sucks and i just had to like you know just put some put some gauze on it etc and Good to go, dude. Uh, I've, I don't know if, if I've ever injured myself to that point because I avoid injury like the plague, which is why I don't play football, Jones. The only reason? Fo- I mean, kind of. <laughs> to a certain I, extent, The only yeah. reason I never skateboarded is because I didn't want to get hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like, skate. I really, it's also like, the reason I don't skateboard. I was always like, in, I loved, I've always loved skateboarding. Like, I'll even still watch skateboarding if it come across it on TV. I just don't have cable, so. Right? But, like. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm good. I don't want to break all my stuff, dude. Because in order to get good at skateboarding, you have to break things. Like, it's almost like a rite of passage. Like, almost every skateboarder is like, oh, yeah, dude, I broke my wrist. I broke my, I, I fell and broke a finger. I, yeah. you know, it's like. Yeah. It's guaranteed. Like, eventually, yeah. it's going to happen. The law of averages, man. You're trying to learn how to do something difficult and dangerous. Guess right. what? And you have to do it on like a hard surface, like concrete. You can't skateboard on a mat. Exactly. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna succumb to the danger. And even if you're wearing break like elbow pads and he- and helmets and yada yada, you can still land on your wrist wrong. You can twist your ankle. Exactly. You, can... you know what doesn't take elbow pads? Uh, sitting on the couch. Chilling at home, praising the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude. I feel you, dude. I'm Everything. just saying, right? <laughs> Volunteering your time at the soup kitchen, that doesn't take any pads. <laughs> Sorry, just turn this into a, a Christian cast. Dude, it's, <laughs> you're right. If you accept the Lord into your heart, you're not going to need elbow pads. <laughs> or anything you do. <laughs> Except for, easier. you might need some knee pads for all those prayers. Right, dude, exactly. <laughs> And that's what it is. You don't need elbow pads, but you need no. knee pads because you're on your knees praying. No, but seriously, I, I, uh, danger is just not cool to me. Like, basketball is one of those sports where you could play it and, you know, like, you could roll your ankle, but, you know, you could do that walking. Yeah. Um, you can get hit a little too hard, but nobody's, like, trying to hit you. But I feel like you go into those things knowing that, I mean, you ex- accept that risk. Yeah. Like, for example, I just saw a story, like, one of those guys who uh, who will dive with, like, those, like, winged suits on and do all that, we- those weird, like, like, he'll, like, he, like, sky dove and then, then landed inside a flying plane as the plane was oh nosedive, you know, like, one of those guys that does that crazy stuff. That he, uh, crazy. he died during a training exercise, like, 30-something years old, and, like... 30-cent years old? 30-something thir- years old. Oh. 36, I think. Oh, okay. But, like, and, like, it was interesting, because, like, yeah, everyone was like, oh, it was tragic, but, like, it's, like... If that's what you do, you know that anytime you go out, that could be the last thing you ever do because it's uberly dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, yeah, it sucks, but it's just like, yeah, today I was going to go out and try to fl- skydive between buildings. And guess what happened? My leg hit the corner of a building. I spiraled. I died. But it'd be so cool if you did it. 
Oh, yeah. I'm, dude, I mean, like, when you're doing it and you're successful, not only is it cool as hell to do, but, like, I can you imagine the adrenaline rush you get from that, dude? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm not an, adre I'm not an adrenaline, adrenaline junkie. No, me neither. I'm not even a, a I'm occasional adrenaline use. Yeah, like, I want to jump out of a plane, but it's literally just to see and f experience, like, that view of coming down to Earth like that. Not, it's not about the adrenaline. Uh, you could just, like, look it up on YouTube. But I'm not feeling the wind <laughs> in my face, dude. Do you want to do SpaceX? Like, go to f the space? Go to space. In Elon's car? No, Jonas, they actually have, like, rockets that take you up into space yeah, and then Elon's come back car. down. Yeah, that's why I was being facetious. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, it takes you up in space and, like, brings you back down. You hang out in space for a little bit. Would no, you do okay. that? Really? See, now, I would like to do SpaceX. Okay. Virgin um, uh, Virgin Galactic is the one that's going to be uh, public flights into space. Richard Branson's uh, Virgin. Yeah, they are too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, you you've you've been on a plane before. Mm -hmm. I've been on a plane before. Uh, the first time you were ever on a plane, did you feel like any like insecurities, a little little fear in your in your pit of your stomach? Uh, no. But a I know nervous. Do. Yeah, like I saw like people like getting on and like doing the sign of the cross and praying and stuff oh yeah dude every time i'm on a plane you see someone you see someone do that like i've had like i've had partners that i've flown with that like hold your hand while you take off just because they're like it's like a grip hand like a, a like a fear grip hand holding not yeah. like a sensual like you're my partner hand holding yeah 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 have you have you ever been through turbulent turbulence before? uh some but not like an extreme amount like i've definitely been on flights that were like where the plane's like, da, 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 you know, and yeah. like, but nothing where it's like, uh, nothing where I ever felt in danger. But like, there's definitely been some like, whew, messing with my stomach a little bit because it's wobbling a little too much. You know? I've definitely seen videos of like turbulence and like an entire like plane full of people like start freaking out. Yeah, like, or like it starts busting open the luggage compartments because it's so rough. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it can get really yeah, bad. And that's, and like, I believe. Truth, not facts, but I believe that no plane has ever gone down from turbulence. It's always accredited to another issue. Like a, like an actual malfunction. A, yeah, a bomb but not turbulence. Whatever. Not turbulence. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah, that, I mean, that seems right. Because every time that you hear about it, it's always like, oh, there was a malfunction in one of the engines or, you know, yada, 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 yeah. yada, yada, yada. So. All right. So here's my thing, Jonas. If a plane were to go down and you were to be on it, guess what? You're done. Yeah. If a SpaceX goes down and you're on it, guess what? You're done. Yep. So, <laughs> what is the difference? Entering it's not like that exiting extra... Exiting the atmosphere is a lot different than uh, flying, mean, in, yeah, flying in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, but... I mean, you, if, if, if the plane Fs up, you're down. If the SpaceX Fs up, you're down. Yeah, if your parachute fails when you skydive, you're down. Yeah, Same you're down. If it's your all... brakes fail, you're down. Well, yeah. you're not down, but yeah. yeah at least, uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you might be down and out for a little bit, but you're not down. Yeah. I don't know. I want to do SpaceX. I would love to go in outer space. Well, I mean, the older, I want to go to Mars. We get, I think in our lifetime, it will get to the point where like, not like cheap, but it'll be to the point where like someone like you or I, who makes like an like a decent salary, but we're not like millionaires could go on a, a space flight. Like at first it's going to be yeah. really expensive. Well, Jonah, I'm actually I'm actually hoping that in my lifetime, I know it's never going to happen, but I'm hoping that in my lifetime, uh, Elon Musk starts up like a, a Wonka bar type contest where I have to go and buy Musk bars and get a golden ticket in order to be accepted into the new colony that's going to be on Mars. Oh yeah, that's my plan. I'm good. I want to be on. You want to win a contest where five out of everyone in the world get to go? I think I think it's a realistic goal. I would go to Mars and be a pioneer, dude. Well, I mean, it's nice knowing you, friend. Milk some aliens. Milk some aliens. <laughs> alien, alien bovines. Yeah, dude. Just be like, just like in the movies, dude. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be a new settler on. I really, really, I, I don't have any fear of outer space. After I've been on a plane, and I was like, okay, well, you know, I could probably die here, and that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I don't have a fear of space. I don't think like what's out there. I'm like, hey, whatever, dude. But you don't want to go. I'm, I mean, yeah, no, I don't have any like. I, I kind of want to see the Earth, man. Yeah, I'm, I feel the same way you feel about like I can just look at a picture. 
<laughs> it's like you just said you want to skydive. Because that's, you get to see, like, like, once you're outside the earth, you're like, there's the earth. But, like. I feel like these are apples and oranges. They're yeah, both fruits, but they, yeah, they're, they're different. Right, exactly. And, like, you don't care for apples, and I like apples yeah, and yeah, oranges. Yeah, there, I yeah, I guess, I guess so. But yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, I, I would much rather, like, go to a different planet than I would jump out of a plane. I would love to go to a different planet, dude. That's some real ish. Like, going to a different planet. Well, considering no one has done that in the history of man. Oh, uh, we've been to the moon. It's, it's not a planet. It's a moon. It's not a planet. It's right. a moon. Well, so? <laughs> it's a still big a moon. difference. <laughs> What are they talking? They're talking about uh, terraforming Mars, though, right? Because they found like water on the planet. Or yeah, whatever. something like that. Yeah, they, uh, they're talking about taking people to the moon again, uh -huh. too. But like, what I think is really weird is like we went to the it's moon close. in the '60s, and it was a big. You know, there's always the controversy, the conspiracy. Like, did we really go? Was it like? Yeah, fake? was it on the sound? But stage? why have we not went back to the moon in the last 50 years? We have uh. way better space stuff. Don't you think they would have been like, well, let's just try to go back and let, I mean. They sent like a rover or something. But why would you not take people back? Set yeah. up like a little station there and do stuff there. I'm not going to, look, John, I find it hard to believe that we didn't have like high definition color televisions yet. We sent somebody to the moon. Just okay. keep, it's keep just, it a buck. Right. We didn't have a cell phone yet. We communicated with people on the moon. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, that, that's funny too. Cause it's like, yeah, it's like you didn't have color TV. Yeah, but. but but yeah, you're able to send someone out of this mm, planet in mm, the in the space, land on the moon, get mm, out. Put up. Yeah, sounds a little sus. Yeah. Sounds a little sus. But I'm not. You know what? Fine, whatever. Well, history. and the fact that we've never went back. If you went once, it should be easy to go again. Mm -hmm. And we do all sorts of space stuff all the time. But yet, we're not going to the moon. Now there is legitimately a, a space station that is up there right now functioning. Yeah, uh, it's been up Alon, there for, for a million years. Alon's uh, SpaceX just for the first time took people and they docked at the space station. Yes, I did see that. Yeah, I yep. did see that. Yeah, and look how much cheaper and quicker it was than like a NASA thing. Yeah, well, he's got the capital for it. Yeah, it's sad when like one man has more capital and ability than an entire organization that's dedicated their existence to space travel. <laughs> That's because the, well, they they get their money from the government, which gets their money from us. Yeah, Alon gets his money from us too, but in different ways. Oh well, guess what, John? As well, he, won't he be surprised when Space Force hits? <sighs> what was that? Dude, do you think that do you think that the transitional team of presidency will keep Space Force going, or will it become a back burner thing? Whoa, Space Force! <laughs> 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 Space Force. That is the funniest ish, dude. I mean, okay, Jonas, it's got to, it's got to become a thing eventually. Space right. Force has to be realized. Yeah, it only makes sense. Dude. I mean, event, eventually, it's gonna come to that. <laughs> it's got to be able to go out into space and take on the aliens when they get here. Oh man, or look, China and the U.S. are gonna have a space war. <laughs> Hey, as long as it doesn't hurt me, dude. Yeah, I don't know. space force. No, it's a, it, that is amazing. It kind of it's, but it's it's so crazy how it's it's crazy how it's like gated behind money though at this point in time, where like the world can't just be like, hey, let's just pool our funds and build a space station yeah. that is capable of taking on our alien oppressors. Yeah. And like, well, I mean, at least, what I think is really cool though is that like the space station we have up there does have people from like all the. It's not just like yeah. the U.S. space. It's like you yeah. know, it's like a it's a collaboration yeah i don't know if like every country's welcome like i don't know if like china and the, like you know like that like i don't know if every country russia is i feel like the major players there they're, they're there but i feel like there's russians up there they're, yeah, they're a major player they were they were one first, of the pioneers yeah. with us of space travel so they probably earn more uh more monies for it to keep it going but there's probably there's russian chinese japanese probably uh Eng english English speaking people. Yeah, yeah. In England. For sure. I'm sure all yeah, I'm sure all the big countries that have space. Like I don't know, does like Germany have a space program? Do they take people to the moon? Like I've never really heard about German space hmm. flight. You know, it's like you hear about obviously us and Russia and like whatever, but 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, well, we know about ours only because we know about it. Yeah, it's in our face. Like. Yeah, NASA. We used to go to space camp. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, I've oh. never been to space camp. I was say, I've never been to any camp. Everybody, you've never been to camp camp? No, dude, I never went to camp for like a week. Oh, man, we got to get off of the space stuff and talk about camp. You've never been to summer camp. I mean, it's it's a little too late in the episode. We got like a minute. All right, well, let me tell you. I remember you summer, camp, summer camp. Summer camp is where you get all the girls. You know, so I remember going to summer camp, and there was a girl who wore a leather jacket all the time, and she started flirting with me, and I kissed her. Nice. It was the summer of I don't remember. Sixty nine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that was my summer camp experience. Well, that's cool, dude. And I kissed a girl who wore a leather jacket all the time. <laughs> You're like, why did you wear that? Dude? It's hot as f out here. Right? It's summer. <laughs> I guess her. I guess her daddy was a biker. Oh, dude. <laughs> Jesus, war leather jacket. Oh, we're tied. I didn't realize it. That's weird, dude. What? <laughs> the hell? Did you always have a leather jacket? In the on? summer. It was a nice leather jacket, I guess. I don't know. Did we win? It was a, it was, I mean, come on. It was an Ohio summer, so. But it still gets hot and humid in Ohio summer. Oh, yeah, dude. 80 degrees. <laughs> don't get too crazy. No, I, I feel you. I don't know why she had the leather jacket, dude. I just remember hey, it. But it, it made you want her. And you uh, got a little bit of her yeah. Jones, man, I used, to, I used to like girls. I mean, I still do like <laughs> girls. I'm going to isolate that. Sound, <laughs> Jonas, I used to like girls. <laughs> <laughs> I still do like girls, but you know. <laughs> 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 Love it, dude. If we went through all of our episodes and isolated all the suspect sound clips, we could have a really funny. <laughs> you could definitely sing the entire uh, "Call Me Maybe" song if you were to take isolated. Oh, we have enough. Yeah, we have enough stuff yeah. that we could yeah. definitely take our voices and like <laughs> combine them to make us sing songs. I cool. just met you, but this is crazy. Right. Here's my number. <laughs> Yeah, well, we say crazy in every episode, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> all right, dude. Well, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've done that, do Twitch with him. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash uh, TNT D-I-N-O on my GHT underscore crazy town. All right. Uh, for Jonas. Two, two. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.